What's going on shrewdness? What's going on shrewd gang? My name is Camden and I hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, we're doing a nice little update on Ethereum. We're gonna go over XRP and then we're also gonna break down SHIB's retests along with Bitcoin. So if you wanna stay tuned for that, just keep those eyes peeled. Let's go ahead and get into this massive breakout that the whole entire crypto industry is facing as we speak. As you can see, Ethereum is up 7% right now and the dollar hasn't even fallen. Like none of that has happened. It's just a massive breakout basing off of the tiniest news. We know cryptos in a trillion dollar industry. And you can see there was some news about a couple hours ago, also 45 minutes ago, but the ones a couple hours ago are saying that there's NFTs that are being sold for a lot of money. There's also um, crypto prices crashing. Some blockchain projects may be struggling to survive. We have open C layoffs. If you're in the NFT marketplace, you know exactly what that is as well. You also have the news of the GameStop marketplace raising over $5 million in a snap of a finger from their NFT marketplace. But when it comes to crypto in totality, there's not really huge news tied to this massive push. And Ethereum is up 7% as we speak, but from these lows is up 22% from this low right here in just like a few hours, it's up 12%. So this is not just any sort of bounce that you've received in the past. This is a massive chug. This is on your way to a huge breakout trend. To keep it simple, keep it easy, let's break it into the weekly candles because we've been down here for quite a while, right? If we can hold this weekly candle, which by the way ends in a couple of days, um, especially with the Dragonfly Doji candle right here, you're on your way to areas near 1,500 to 1,700. And when it comes down to your long-term macroscopic retest that needs to get hit at some point in the future, could be in five years as much as it could be 50 years, you're looking at the highest retracements around 6,000 for Ethereum. Let's go to Bitcoin next, looking almost the same exact way as Ethereum down here at the lowest prices, uh, trying to get us some sort of bounce up around 2% from these lows. If we can break it down into your one hour candles, like we also did with Ethereum, you're chugging. You've gone from 18.9K to 20.9K, so $2,000 rip in Bitcoin just in around a day or so. And if we can break down your long term retracements, in the long-term point of view, could be quite a long time. As much as it could be your next leg up in the long-term point of view, I'm looking for Bitcoin to hit areas near uh, eighty dollars to $86,000 a token. It might get volatile up there. Things might get crazy up there. And honestly, it might not even hit there for another 10 to 15 years. You just never know. The difference is, is down here while it's establishing value in Bitcoin, it's showing that you have massive retests that have not been hit yet. Due to this being the case, they almost always tend to get hit. Now we put something out on our Twitter not too long ago. It's just, uh, I used the green bars just to show a what if scenario, right? Just to show you what I would wanna see the price to do. The difference is though, the snapback from these low prices, if you see the crypto going higher, like we've been expecting it to go higher, XRP's snapback will be biblical. You'll go to ranges near $1.20, $1.50 just as the short term retest. If we can bring XRP over on TradingView setup, you're already making new highs from your lows, um, which is different than Ethereum and different from Bitcoin. So you are trying to stretch down here on XRP's float. Maximum retracement for XRP is $13.50. <laughs> Yo, that is nasty. Of course, it could take a while for you to get there. It might take it on this next leg up. The difference is in the short term, the snapback will be biblical. Looking for areas near 120 to 150 in XRP's float. Last but not least, if we can bring it into Doge, I mean, we had you in a death channel, like literally a straight shot down, a death channel is what I call it when it comes to Doge. All you needed that I was waiting for was a true, authentic, long-term higher low, which you have not taken once in this death channel. Down here at this low point, while crypto is trying to lift off, just trying to bounce with a Ethereum up 22% from its lows and a straight shot up. If this is true, high or low, right? Look at the MACD2 down here for Doge. Oh my gosh. You break this, you should be on your way in the short term to ranges near eight to nine cents. Break above that long term retest is showing areas near 15 to 16 cents. Huge retracement from these lows. And if we can give the long term point of view just a retest, that's 180%. Last but not least, SHIB as well. Don't sleep on crypto right now, man. Uh, it's looking like it's setting itself up as well in these weekly MACDs, which is known as the moving average convergence divergence. If this is looking like it's gonna take a bullish signal in the weekly candles, it could be really a long-term bullish trend. The only thing that shows for SHIB was bearish channel down here. And because of this being the case, you take a massive bearish result after that. So 
What's the opposite of that going to happen? It's going to send you to the upside. We don't have any long-term retests for SHIB, but let's say if this is your lowest low, your true lowest low right here, we can snag IPO to the high and drag it to the low. Maximum retracement in SHIB's float is showing areas near $4.20. I like that number, but the shortest term retest is going to be around that 0 .000026. So a 26 quadrillionth of a cent. If you guys want to see any more crypto content, let me know. I'm a master, I'm a god when it comes to technical analysis with Fibonacci levels, retracements, extensions, pinpointed retests in the one minute. I don't even need to brag, boast, and do the mostest. I can give you certain levels to look at, short-term, medium-term, long-term point of view ahead. I just need to know what tokens you want me to look at. I would love to do TA. I would love to take a gander at cryptocurrency space because I haven't touched it since November of last year. Uh, this is giving me signals that I need to start buying if we see any sort of pullback from these levels. Unfortunately, that might not happen with a huge breakout trend from these lows. So I'm going to leave you guys to it. I appreciate you guys staying tuned for this nice little update video. If you can like, share, subscribe, hit that bell as well. It'll mean the world to me. Do this virtual screen and just know that in the alternate universe, I would like your stream. I would share it. I would subscribe. I would hit that bell as well. And you wouldn't even have to ask me. That's the major difference. However, you guys can do you because it's your fingers and it's your hand. You can click whatever you want to click. I'm going to leave you guys to it. Have a great night and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Uh... Game.